Shalom. Ko holo Yahweh Ba'ashum, Yahusha Ba'ashum, Raka Kodash, the ones of the apostles, the ones of the elders, a great most on Ruel and Taz's truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preach this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four kinds of earth. Tabernacle David, hopefully, like, and the speckled bird, and want to say Shalom. So I just want to do this quick lesson to the spirit. You know, um, pretty much want to get into uh, for the Lord not to take the Holy Spirit away from you, you know, because it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Because uh, this pi this picture right here, as you see, is uh, from the walking bridge down here. And uh, apparently uh, Edomite took his own life. You know, he uh, got on top of the bridge and jumped, <laughs> jumped down. And however the Lord set it up, you know, he, he died on impact. Because, you know, if you don't land in the water properly, you know, you, 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 all your bones could be broken. All right. Or they were saying pretty much with the current, which <laughs> that's some nasty water, man. I remember as a as a child, man, this this water, you know, it probably was polluted, but it was a lot. It was a lot bluer when I was younger but now when you get up to this water man it's it's nasty man it's nasty work but uh pretty much they were saying through the current you know he hey that that, that boy was long gone man you know so it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power I got this matter of fact I'm reading right here Hebrews 10 and verse 31 is a fearful thing to fall in fall into the hands of the living power because he can put these spirits upon you all right and uh you you end up taking your own life or or you be out here bugged out matter of fact get this right here Sirach 25 and verse 13 give me any plague but the plague of the heart all right go into the heart it's talking about your mind not your actual heart but it's hey, still you, you you don't want your heart to be messed up be jacked up but the heart when you see when it's talking about the heart it's talking about your mind all right and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman so you know over here in babylon the great the majority of our women are are out of order and that's a curse unto us because we chose other guys of wooden stone to serve and now you know a a the the a the people in general is out of order man all right but uh here it is this man in his kingdom all right if he's an edomite they say that apparently it was an edomite here it is. This this is your kingdom, man. <laughs> it's pretty much your last hurrah, and you just took took yourself out, man. This is the last time you you was gonna have joy, but that goes to show you this earth is looking forward to new management, man. It's looking forward to new management, right? Because the people are mourning, the people are suffering. Yeah, when we get in the kingdom, the other nations are gonna get their ass kicked for about a thousand years, and Edomites out there, they're, they're slavery. All right, they're going to be burnt up and died. Hey, if, if this was an Edomite, man, which they say it, apparently it was, man, it's, you thought you was depressed now? Imagine what's going to happen to you in the kingdom, man. As I just read in Hebrews 10 and verse 31, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The Lord said in uh, Ezekiel 25, according to my anger, all right, hey, according to my anger, Right, these people are about to catch hell. All right, so yeah, you know, he's he's at peace. All right, the wicked and the righteous, when they pass away, they're at peace. But <laughs> when he come back down here, all right, if he's an Edomite, when he come back down here, it ain't looking too good for you, man. You thought you was depressed now. All right, you you really you really gonna be down bad, man. All right, and we're going to have spiritual power. So if you off yourself, just going to bring your ass back up, man. <laughs> but anyways, once, uh, you know, another reason why I'm doing this lesson as well, which I'll get into it, you know, for the Lord to not take away that Holy Spirit, man. You know, as I read in uh, Sarah 25 and verse 13, you know, for the Lord not to plague your mind. Right. So if you don't want these things to happen at the end of the day, it's the Lord's movie. But if you want, if you don't want these things to happen, you know, sincerely take this walk, take this truth uh, seriously, man. 
you know, in my small time in the walk, I've seen, you know, the Lord has shown me over and over dudes, you know, come into this thing and they do not take this thing seriously as they should. They, they learn, all right, they gain talents, but they do not take this thing seriously and the Lord ends up bugging them out. All right, Lord, a hey, the Lord is such a king of terrors, man. He end up, you know, uh, Yahweh, I desire. I get that scripture as well. You know, the demons that you had on you before you came into the truth, before you was washed clean. All right, they come back with vengeance, man, and and they bring more demons upon you, man. So, you know, I've seen, you know, I remember when I first came into the came into this truth. When I really, really started to take this thing serious, I, I remember seeing some dude, uh, he was once in his truth and, and he ended up, uh, uh, jumping with some transformers, man. If you, if you catch my jib, all right. Getting, getting with some transformers, man. Hey, that's, that's a wicked vow spirit, man. You know, you, you don't want to be in that aftermath. The Lord said you're supposed to be put to death if, if you engaged in that unseemly activity, all right. I'm going to get this first for the Edomites, man. Lamentations 4 and verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. All right. And me and the brothers commented at, at, at uh, one of our camps, man. Either it was this camp or last camp. You know, this man is so blessed, man. All right. Look how righteous the Heavenly Father is. He's blessing our enemies. How much more when we get in the kingdom, when, how much more blessings we're going to get since we're the apple of the Lord's eye, you know, because the Lord deals with balance. You know, we saw a couple Edomites at, at, at camp, man. Hey, they living lavishly, man. They living good. Got these nice cars, nice houses. They living good, man. All right. So how much more is, 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 is the Lord going to bless us when we're in the kingdom, man? And so for this Edomite, you know, instead of taking your own life, man, hey, you, you should have been living it up. And maybe, you know, just me speaking as a man, because the Lord is, whether you a prophet, man, the Lord, all right, heathen, the Lord is uh, uh, sending dreams and visions to these people. So maybe he got a dream or vision. Maybe he saw Putin, <laughs> what Putin did, man. You know, and, and see the men of the Lord out here on the highways and byways and be like, man, what is there to live for? The, the, the true people of the Bible or, or, or the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. The, you know, I, I, I can't deal with that. <laughs> you know, Esau, you know, has his pride hurt. And so what happens when this man get his pride hurt? He, he wants to. He wants to kill something, man. He wants to off something or, or off himself, man. You know, the dangerous, bloody, evil, wicked man. He he got to be put in this place, man. He got to be put in the chains. <gasps> He's an unrighteous ruler. All right. That dwelleth in the land of Uz, cup. Saki, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and thou shalt make thyself naked. So you being exposed, man. All right, and that cup that we had to drink is being passed unto you. So y'all, y'all should be enjoying your kingdom while you can, because hey, Mister Swab said you will own nothing and will be happy. And as we say, account, you know, as we as we've been saying, you really prophesying about your about your own self, man. <laughs> All right, Lamentations four and verse twenty two: the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So, hey, you about to get jacked up, man. You about to feel the pain. <laughs> you about to smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> joke, joke. All right, the Lord, hey, the Lord, the Lord about to kick you, man. All right, the Lord is about to send those judgments upon you. And you're not going to be able to bear it. Right, and you couldn't bear it. You couldn't bear it in in in, in Genesis, right? In the beginning, right when you was Cain. Oh, you know that the, the uh, <laughs> you you got to read on on it. You know, lesson for another day. 
how this man, you know, he, 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 hey, he killed his brother Abel, man. Over here crying. You know, the people going to seek vengeance. And that's why the Lord put that uh, mark of Cain, man. You know, that your descendants have that mark of Cain. You're, you're, you're a leopard. All right. You're a clean leopard, I should say. And this is also another indicator who, who the Edomites are. You're a vagabond. You've been going throughout the whole world, hiding from your true identity, taking other nations identity. All right. That's, that's the spirit of the Edomites. You've been running from your uh, judgment since Genesis. And now all that, that bloodshed is going to catch up to you. All right. You know, even when you came back as uh, Esau, man, you sold your birthright. And, and especially back then, your your word was your bond, man. You know, goes to show you that he was a liar, a murderer since the beginning, man. He's that lump of clay that's made to dishonor the Lord. You sold your birthright to your brother, man. And, and the Lord already set that up for us to get the birthright, man. And the Lord, Lord was righteous and still bless you. But it was only a temporary blessing. And now our blessing is about to come into effect. And so just as he was out there crying to Isaac, just as he was out there crying to um, Yaquab, Jacob, you know, what's, what's this? Uh, what's this blessing going to do for me? You know, <laughs> hey, now, now you're going to see, man, because you're going to be out here crying. Let's get these scriptures right here, though. This is uh, one, of, one of the points that I want to get into. You know, these things happen. You know, be very, very thankful. You know, to water y'all by Shemel Shah for this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, and keep us in this righteous path. And let us not stray away. And continue. Continue doing this work in truth and sincerity. Making our calling election sure. All right, because if we don't, all right, Luke 11, verse 23, he that is not with me is against me, and he that gather not with me scattereth, all right? And how you show the Lord that you with you with, with him by making your calling and election sure, right? Doing your lessons, doing your sit downs. Once again, I've, I've seen, you know, since I really, really took this truth very, very serious. And until now, I've seen it over and over, dudes. Bugging out and they don't take this truth seriously. They out here playing games, playing around, and the Lord take them out. And as we read, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through the dry places seeking rest and findeth none. He saith, I will return unto my house once I came out. And when he can't, when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. How you're not doing the work, man. You know, you have nothing to show for. You're not utilizing your talents. All right. The Lord has invested stocks in, into you and, you and you're not giving him any uh, dividends, man. All right. Then he then go of he and take if to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there in the last state of of that man is worse than the first is is better for you to not even know the way of righteousness all right and so this is this is showing that you need to take this truth seriously man because those demons that you had on you before you came into the truth and then you got washed clean made into a new creature all right you, you start slacking off you start not doing this work as you should making excuses why you can't come to camp all right, those demons going to jump on you. And, and they're going to be magnified. They're going to be stronger, man. They're going to be stronger. And the Lord set that up, you know, so, you know, you, <laughs> hey, you, you won't be able to come into, come back to this thing, man. All right, because the Lord ain't dealing with lukewarm. You got to make up your mind. You either in this thing or not. All right, ain't no jumping in and out halfway in this thing. All right. That's what Christians are. That's what Christians do. We're supposed to be set apart. Get these last scriptures. I'm going to close out. Psalms 51 and verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O power, 
and renew a right spirit within me. That's what we want, man. And that's what happened when we came into this truth. The Lord renewed our spirit and created a right spirit in, inside us, man. All right. We were once children and now we're men. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me because you end up like buddy, man. I hear bugged out. I hear wanting to take your own life over here crying about the ways of the world. All right. Hey, we got something great coming up to us. You can't have a testimony without the test. You got to go through this test. So, yeah, it sucks. All right. You can't be like Esau, you know, always crying, moaning, you know. Oh, man. What was me? You and your kingdom. What do you mean? What was you? All right. Well, yeah, what was you? Because you about to be taken out. So you supposed to be enjoying your kingdom to your fullest, man. All right. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Uphold me with the free spirit. Then I would teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto, you, unto thee. You see? That's making a foolproof for thy ministry. All right. Doing the work of an evangelist as, as you read. In uh, what's that? Second Timothy four on down. All right, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, anyways, that's what we're that's what we're called to do. And if you're not doing that, you're against the Lord, and He's gonna send those spirits, and they're gonna jump on you, man. You're gonna be out here bugging out. All right, I've I've seen it, man. All right, dudes, they go back to the world, and, and a lot of times the Lord ends up taking them out. What was it just earlier this year or last late last year or so? Jake got uh, ran over by a whole bunch of cars. You know, his his whole body was torn up, man, because he didn't take this truth seriously. That's a bad way to go. Remember uh, one Jake. Remember watching one of the videos about uh, a brother that was once, if I'm not mistaken, once a part of a great millstone. You know, he, he went back into the world. He was cutting hair. And then, and then he got shot, man. The Lord took him out. And there's many, many other instances in where, you know, dudes fell out this truth and the Lord ended up taking them out, man. Let's see, verse 14. Deliver me from the blood uh, guiltiness, O power, thy, thy God of my salvation. My tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness and that's what we're going to do man because the lord's going to hey, the lord going to save us from my enemies and we're going to sing praises unto his name right the lord's going to deliver us but that deliverance is only going to happen unto his elect right so take this thing seriously man so with that y'all right desires to edify the lesson shalom